This here is how you cut a book um, with standard shingles. First thing you're going to do, grab three shingles. And what you're going to want to do is to uh, get all three of your shingles. Set them about an inch apart here like this. Flush up all those ends. Let's get those ends all nice and flushed up. So we have three shingles right here all going the same way. Um, the whole idea of a book is to maintain a 5 and 5 eighths offset everywhere. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, this first shingle, put my tape on there. What I'm going to do is on this first shingle I'm going to go here and cut a notch at 5 and 5 eighths. Over there to 5 and 5 eighths. A little hard and I'm holding the camera but boom. Cut a notch, there's one notch. Go ahead and put my tape on that mark and go down to the next shingle. So I'm right on my mark there. Going five and five eighths over onto the shingle below it. Blam, putting a mark on there. Going to that shingle. Going over five and five eighths. There we go, get the camera there, put a mark there, okay. So what I've done is I've done a five and five eighths cut there, went over five and five eighths down one shingle and five and five eighths, okay? So the idea is I have five and five eighths steps all along there. Uh, one thing you'll see a lot of guys doing, which can create confusion, uh, I'll find something on my tool. So from the tip of there to, uh, you know, I can make a mark anywhere on my tool that's five and five eighths. I'll just use my tool to mark. Um, so some guys use their hammer. You can use whatever that's five and five eighths. So, okay. So then we have our uh, three shingles. Um, starts like this. Uh, the way you can tell, you cut, uh, you know, five and five eighths off the first one. Eleven or you know whatever double five and five eighths is off this, and then this is your last one. The idea is you have six shingles that all step five and five eighths. Uh, the way to test it is to cut your longest one first. We'll do that real quick. I'll cut that. So I just went ahead and uh, cut this shingle in half right here. Uh, the way this is the test, see if your book is good. I'll line up those two edges. I got my cut right here. Let's double check what we're at. Just over five. Or sorry, just under five and five eighths, but that's still really close. But a five inch step. So there's my first cut there. I'm gonna go through and uh, cut both of these right here. So I've went ahead and cut my shingles here. Uh, this is my second cut. There's my first one. So I take my longest one, throw this one aside, grab the next second longest, line up those edges. Got about a five and five eighths step over there. Grab my third and fourth longest cuts. Got, you know, five and five eighths, 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 and there's your book. When you go to install them, obviously, you're uh, throwing them up like that. And five and five eighths all the way up. A correctly cut book again. We'll have five and five eight spaces all the way up the shingles here. And uh, you can see here on this one that I cut, um, I was cutting it, we'll hang on to the camera and stuff in a little while. But uh, this gap there on that last one, got about five and three quarters. So that one's just slightly off, but that's close enough. So. As long as they're all, you know, five inch minimum piece, um, should be good, and that's how you cut a book.